Hi, I'm Tim Barnes, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2024 Ford Maverick. So we are working through the different Maverick videos, and we have come to the Lariat trim. We're going to cover all the standard equipment, plus the different packages available, standalone options, all in this one video. We like to call it our complete guide video because you should be able to watch this and know exactly how to order your 2024 Ford Maverick. Order banks are going to be opening up here um, July 17th. So we have the information ahead of time, uh, which we normally don't have on most models, but that's probably because it's probably going to close up pretty quick. So if you're wanting to put in an order, you want to get into your dealer as soon as possible. So also, if you have a 23 model year order and it has not been scheduled yet, you're going to want to make sure you put in a 24 model year order. Make sure you talk to your dealerships and get that done and taken care of. Hopefully this video will help you out because there are some significant changes from 23 to 24 when it comes to the Lariat trim. So hopefully this video will show you exactly how you what you expect on your vehicle when you go to place that order. So you want to make sure you go and do that. Now, Law MacArthur will not be taking new orders for this year. We have uh, more. We have several orders that we need to carry for 23 to 24, and our number of allocations should cover those, but not any more that we have. Um, and so we're actually a little shy, but Ford said they are in today's call. They will be helping out dealers like us uh, to be able to make sure everybody we have gets taken care of. But they're going to be looking at those rollover orders to give assistance on not new orders. So we will not be taking any new orders this year. So. Find a good local dealer. I'll have some tips for you at the end of the video. If you want to know, have some tips on how to uh, find a good local dealer, some things to ask, uh, we'll go over that and uh, towards the end of the video. Timestamps down below. Hit that more. If you're on a phone, tablet, you can see the different um, chapters. You can go through and, and check that out. The one you're going to be looking for if you want that as tips is under the conclusion. But we will have one uh, timestamp for the mechanical, safety, exterior, interior, colors, as well as the different packages and then options all together with one timestamp. So. Let's dive in and uh, talk about some of these things. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can stay notified next time another video uploaded to the channel. So let's dive in. We are going to be using Ford's build-in price from 23. Their build-in price will be available on the 17th. We think in the morning of the 17th, but we're not sure, but it should be uh, live by then so that you can build it out yourself. Uh, before, until then, if you want to go to our website, we have build-in price all the options available right now. Pricing are getting updated as we speak and should be ready uh, by the time this video goes live. We should have the full build and price with pricing on our website if you want to check it out, lawmacarthur.com under order your Ford. So let's go and get into this. So the uh, uh, for the Lariat trim for this year, it is going to be standard a little bit differently than it is in other years. So the EcoBoost motor is the standard motor on all of the trim levels, including the Lariat trim. The difference on the uh, Lariat trim versus the XL and XLT is it comes standard also with all-wheel drive with the EcoBoost motor as the standard setup. So click on this. That's why you notice that price jump there. Plus the price is actually more expensive now because we'll tell you why in just a second. But if you look at the powertrain, it'll come standard that way with a 2.0 EcoBoost all-wheel drive as well, and the eight-speed automatic transmission. That is your standard setup. Now, there are options. If you want to go to the 2.5-liter hybrid engine, that is the optional engine, but you will have to, it will then select you to go to front-wheel drive instead of all-wheel drive, and actually will deduct your price just a little bit because all-wheel drive is a $2,200 option. Um, so you wouldn't, since you wouldn't have all-wheel drive, you would deduct that price Hybrid motor is $1,500 more than it was last year. Um, and so because of that, all-wheel drive is bigger than that $1,500. So you will see a deduct in your price. So that's kind of how that works. So, But basically pointing out, you can get either one. When you go front-wheel drive, you can only get – or when you go hybrid, you can only get that in front-wheel drive. Now, with the EcoBoost, you can go with the advanced four-wheel drive system. And that is going to be needed if you want the trimmer package. So you'll want to make sure that you uh, make sure you select that and talk about it if you want a trimmer, which we'll talk about the trimmer package in just a little bit. Some of the other mechanical features that are going to be uh, significant to you, you do have electric parking brake, also electronic brake boost, whether it be a hybrid or EcoBoost. We do see that standard on all hybrids, but now on the Lariat trim, you're going to have that uh, also available and be standard on the EcoBoost motor too. E-Pass, electric power assist steering. Uh, that just going to make it a little bit easier to steer the vehicle in those uh, slower speeds there. Variable assist power steering will also uh, make it a little bit easier to steer the vehicle. And you do have electronic stability control as well to help keep you going where you need to. So 
Now, for some of the safety features, um, talk about those. Same as the XLT trim with a few changes because there's a package that's standard on the Lariat trim that's not on the XLT. So let's talk about some of these safety features. For the airbags, front and uh, driver and front passenger dual stage front airbag. De put, de uh, deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You also do get a driver knee airbag that's going to deploy down to protect those knees from that front collision. You have driver and front passenger will have a side impact airbag. Comes out of the seat, uh, deploys if that get a side and collision on the front or the A or B pillars, it'll help protect that. Also, you have safety canopy airbag as well. It's going to come down from the roof line and help protect with a rollover sensor. So if the senses that vehicle is going to roll over, deploys that down to help from breaking glass coming in and sheet metal coming in and protect occupants the best it can for that rollover situation. You do get pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, um, and you do get pedestrian detection. So it's going to detect a vehicle going slower than you. Um, or pedestrians in front of you if you're going too fast and you're not hitting your brake, it's going to alert you, series of tones that you need to stop, puts a red uh, flashing on your screen that you need to stop, preloads the brakes so that when you hit your brake, you'll brake even faster. You also have post-collision braking. That's going to help. So if you get in an accident, maybe you're not, maybe you're unconscious, maybe you forget to put it in park, it's going to break the vehicle so that you don't have a more severe accident. We do have the latch system. That's a lower anchors and tethers for children. It allows you to securely fasten those car seats, front and rear facing into the uh, outbound seats in the rear seat. So you don't have to use those shoulder, shoulder uh, straps for that. We also do get the security lock passive and a theft system. That means only the coded key can start the vehicle. Pretty safe feature to have there. Uh, we do have perimeter alarm as well. It means when you lock that vehicle up, it's going to kind of uh, put a perimeter alarm on the vehicle. So if you know there's movement on the vehicle, shaking and that kind of stuff, it's going to set the, the alarm off. Lights are going to go off as well. We also do get uh, the lane keeping system is also included. So we get the bliss with cross traffic alert is included in the Lariat trim. So lane keeping system means that it has three different functions of that. You do have a driver alert feature. If you take your hands off the steering wheel too often, it's going to alert you and let you know that. You have a lane keeping aid and a, an alert system. The alert system means if you leave your lane, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've crossed over that line. The aid system will help keep you in your lane. So get over that line. It'll help try to keep you in that lane. So that's also included. We also have evasive steering assist. So on that pre-collision assist uh, situation, if you can't brake in time, to not uh, to, and you need to avoid them. There's nobody in that lane next to you. You can avoid them. It's going to assist in the steering around for that. So evasive steering assist as well. There's some other features we'll talk about um, as part of that bliss and such uh, in just a little bit. But evasive steering assist will be included. So that's all the safety features I want to talk about. Now let's get into the exterior features for this trim level here. So on the Lariat trim, let's go into exterior photos here and let's move this around to the front of the vehicle. There we go. So on the front up here, we do have the black mesh grill. It is a different design than the other two trims. So all trim levels have a different design in the grill. So black mesh grill, silver bars coming across as well with the Ford blue uh, oval there. Um, so all of the, the bars are going to be dedicated to each individual trim level. Um, we do have steel bumpers with the bumper uh, per, bumper pads over it. That's molded in color into that. So you're going to see that up here as well. We have auto headlights, auto LED headlights, which means when you have the intermittent setting or the, the auto headlight setting, I should say, when you uh, your lights can come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. LED signature lighting. So on the Lariat trim, this bar up here on the others is just a reflector. On the Lariat trim, it is a signature lighting. So you will have an LED light up there, and that can be configured as your daytime running light. Wiper activated headlights, which means when you turn the wipers on, the headlights will come on. Auto high beam as well. So uh, just like your automatic headlights, if it's dark enough outside, those high beams are going to come on. Someone approaches you in the city lights, it's going to shut those lights off. So you also do with the Lariat trim, get acoustic windshield, which means it's two pieces of glass with plastic in between. It helps protect it. You know, if something comes in and breaks a glass, it doesn't shatter on you. It'll help adhere that windshield for you. Um, also for the wheels, 18 inch bright aluminum wheels. So this is the standard wheel on the Lariat trim. It's bigger than the XLT trim, 18 verse 17. All season tire is also standard tire pressure monitoring system that helps monitor the tire pressure of those tires as well. 
on the side over here. Let's move around to the side. You're going to have the Lariat Fender badge as well. It'll say Lariat across here in chrome letter uh, or bright letter, I should say. Also for this year, the mirror caps that's showing on this one being body colored. Body color is not going to be an option this year uh, for any of them. So it's going to be a painted black mirror caps. So high gloss painted mirror cap that's going to be black. So change for this year. Uh, like it or not, that's what we're stuck with. Uh, manual folding mirrors does have power and heat feature included, and you have that the the bliss system. That's a blind spot blind spot information system with cross reference alert. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it can put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. If you back up, cross traffic alert. Alert. If somebody crosses your path behind you, it's going to use a series of tones that you need to stop and not back up. Uh, also puts a message on a productivity screen. And it lights up the mirror on the side that that car is currently located. So if it's crossing behind you, you'll want to make sure it clears that other side. Body color door handles on here is part of the Lariat trim. So it's a nice upgrade from XLT to, to the Lariat. Also molded in black uh, molding down here on the body side, body cladding. Uh, that kind of help protect it from rock chips and such. Kind of like the black does up here and the one in the back. Intelligent access. That means if you have that key fob in your pocket, just walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's going to unlock the vehicle. There's ridges on the door handle. When you get out, press it, locks the vehicle up without you having to get your keys out. Uh, it will have an integrated key into the end of that key fob for you, just so you have that. Also, you get remote start is also included uh, because the luxury package is included, which we'll talk as we go through these. We'll include some of those luxury features into the features as we talk about. So the luxury package. Copilot 360 and the Copilot 360 Assist package are all included as standard equipment on the Lariat trim. Um, so remote start will be one of those. Also, easy fuel cap capless filler door. So there's a door right there. You just press it, opens up, allows you to get uh, fill it up. Uh, when you're done, remove it. No cap to worry about. Lean behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. Haven't mentioned on the other vehicles, but on the hybrid. You will have a door latch. You'll have to release that because that releases some of the fuel pressure in there. So you want to make sure you do have that on those um, on the hybrids. Also, we do for the fuel, uh, the tanks, 16 gallon for the gas engines. You do have uh, 15 gallon for the hybrids. Now, it's a little less than that. I round it up. So I think it's 16.8 on the, the EcoBoost. On the back of the cab, you do have the uh, cargo lamp on the back. Center high mounted stoplight. It's that red light. I like to call it the third brake light. Taller vehicles in the Maverick, it'll help them to see that you're braking if they can't see your tail lights. Uh, we do have power sliding rear view, uh, power sliding um, rear window with privacy glass. So privacy glass on the back windows, back glass, power sliding open window as well. Um, the unknown fact, XLXLT does not get any kind of sliding rear window. This is the only way to get it is on the Lariat trim. We do have a power tailgate lock that tailgates with the remote. So unlock that, unlocks the tailgate. Rear view camera on the back uh, by the, the Ford emblem. So you can be able to see behind you uh, if there's anybody there. Parking sensors as well are standard equipment on this. It's included as the Copilot 360 assist package. So you get the rear sensors on the back as well. You do have a hitch. So you're gonna since this does have the luxury package, you're going to get a uh, class four receiver hitch with the four pin wiring is included. Trailer sway control as well. Full size spare tire included in this. That's part of the luxury package. Full size spare on all of your Lariat trim vehicles. And you'll also get a cubby uh, storage in the passenger side over here. On the other side, it was, will not be another cubby. Instead, you're going to have an LED light back there and a 400 watt power inverter back there. So an outlet in the bed back there on that side. Tie downs, 10 tie downs back here, including uh, the D, D hooks down there. You're going to have some over here and here. You're not seeing it, but you do get the bed rail system as well. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do this. <laughs> it's kind of to help us out here. Let's go ahead and throw in all these packages that are now included on the Lariat trim so we can make sure uh, that we get those and a lecture package. So those are all included this year. So let's do that so that we can get our images correct. So you'll see the bed rail now on there that is included. So that is a D hook that slides forward and back. Also, it's going to be some, some connections on the tailgate itself that double as bottle openers as well. So uh, LED box light outlet spray and bed liners, also standard equipment for this trim. So you're going to, it's kind of back to what the luxury package was in 22, 
So spray and bed liner, bed rail system is included, as well as remote start and all the other XLT luxury features. So spray and bed liner is going to be included with this. Uh, they will not spray the top. So yeah, just a little known fact. Okay. All right. Moving to the interior now. In here, you're going to have the Active X seats. Uh, some people ask, are they leather? Technically not leather. So they are an Active X material. We don't like to use leather in the Mavericks. Um, because of harming animals and such like that. Active X is a more durable, it'll wipe cleaner as well. Um, sit in it. Uh, you know, our expedition has Active X. Uh, my wife could claim, could swear they're leather. Uh, they're very durable seat um, and a very comfortable seat. Front bucket seats as well. Heated front seats as well. Driver and front passenger will have heated seats. Uh, front console a storage bin with a vinyl covering on the top of it. Uh, media hub, you have a nice flow through console in here, storage in that console. Rotary dial shifter knob, parking brake is right there that we talked about earlier. Drive modes, didn't mention those earlier. You do get, I think, if, see if I remember them. You have a normal, you have an eco mode. Uh, you have, I think, a tow haul mode. Um, might have a sport mode as well, um, but you're going to have several different um, drive modes there, slippery mode as well for you. So use those drive modes. It'll change the shifting of the transmission as well as traction control being activated and deactivated, different things like that, and the throttle response on the vehicle too. Um, there you go. All right. For the driver's seat, you're going to be an eight-way power driver's seat. So forward and back, up and down, uh, power recline, power lumbar, I believe also a tilt on the front of the seat too. Um, Six-way manual front passenger seat. So it'll go forward and back. It'll also go up and down and manual recline. Um, Four-way head restraint. And I say four-way is a big deal because all the others will just go up and down. These will ratchet forward and back as well. So actually kind of jealous of that. So these back ones also will go up and down. Um, full bench seat back here. You will see a flip down armrest cut out right there with cup holders in there. The seat cushion is a full bench seat cushion that can come up for under seat storage under there, uh, which is nice to have. Uh, the, the jack is behind the rear seat. I would relocate that if you're going to have some kids in these seats so you don't have to try to get to that and take the car seats out if you get a flat tire. Um, on the back of the console, you're going to have dual USB ports, so USB type A and C. Also, an outlet will be positioned back there since this is standard with the luxury package now. Now, for the windows, it is power windows, one touch up and down for the front and rear windows, which means that you just pull that till you feel that click coming up, and it's going to roll them up. You don't have to hold it going down. You just press that till you feel that little click there, and then it'll go down as well. Power locks are going to be included as well, so windows, power windows, power locks. Notice the storage bins available in the doors, uh, big enough for a smaller laptop. Uh, in there, cup holder as well for a one liter bottle in there, cut out from the door handle as well, which is kind of unique to the Maverick. Soft vinyl leather wraps, heated steering wheel is included as well. Manual tilt and telescoping steering, which means just pull the lever underneath it. The steering will go up and down, forward and back for you. Steering wheel controls, as well as audio controls uh, for this. You will have adaptive cruise control, standard equipment on the Lariat Tram. So adaptive cruise control means you can set that. Uh, it, you can use a traditional if you want or the adaptive, which means that if you come up behind somebody, they're going slower than you. It'll slow you down to go their speed. You do not have to press the brake. When you pass them, then it'll speed you back up. You will resume. Even bring it to complete stop. It's what they call stop and go. And then when they start going, you'll start going as well. Also includes lane centering which takes over from the lane keeping system and keeps you in the center of your lane so you don't even get over to those lines. I actually like this system having in my uh, Expedition, and it works really great. Also, you get the bigger 6.5-inch productivity screen in the cluster. It's not showing it there because it's still showing the standard equipment, even though it has a luxury package. That was part of luxury package last year as well as this year. So a bigger productivity screen through the cluster there. You'll have your speedometer over here on the right. And on the left, it'll have your tachometer, or if you have a hybrid, you don't have your battery meter over there. Uh, push button start is going to be located right down there on the console, along with your USB ports, USB type A and C, and your switch for your power sliding rear window, as well as a PowerPoint right there. And then down in here, you're going to have a wireless charging pad as well, right located right down there. And you can even put a phone, passenger can put their phone up going upright so they can see it. Cup holders there as well, all that good stuff. For the climate control, dual zone auto climate control. So the driver and front passenger are going to have two different temperatures. Uh, that's standard equipment on this. BNO audio sound system with eight speakers, including a subwoofer. Sirius XM satellite radio, also standard equipment here. Eight-inch touchscreen, same size as the XL and XLT. 
You will get Sync 3 on this, though. With the Sync 3, now you're going to have 911 Assist as well, so you can integrate that in. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well is going to be included. Also, Ford Pass Connect. So that allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So you download the app, connect your vehicle. You can remote start the vehicle from anywhere, unlock and lock it from anywhere, schedule remote start times. You can see the tire pressure on your tires, the fuel that you have in it, as well as where it's located all through that app. Voice activated navigation system with one year service. Uh, actually, it might be three years of service. Uh, they haven't migrated over to the connected navigation. So I think you're getting three years of service with this as well. Overhead console with map lights. So let's look at that. Um, so there you go. So you're going to have overhead console with them with map lights as well. Uh, sunglass bin up there. Visors as well. You can flip down. They'll be illuminated um, behind them as well, uh, too. So, so pretty nice day night mirror right here so that you can just flip that so that the cars are going to come up behind you with those bright lights. It'll dim that mirror for you if you flip that down. Rotary dial shift knob. We do have some, uh, we talked about power points and USB ports and everything and charging pad. Also, didn't mention this, ambient lighting lights up the cup holders, the foot wells as well. That's all included as standard equipment for this year. Uh, again, XLT luxury package, Copilot 360, and Copilot 360 assist packages are included as standard equipment on this trim. Now, Let's talk about colors for a second. They are different this year. So let's talk about what is still included in this. So we're going to just click through these. Uh, Shadow Black is uh, available this year. Oxford White is also available this year. Also Blue has been discontinued. It is not available this year. Area 51 is also a discontinued color, not available this year. Cactus Gray is still available this year. So you'll have that available. Carbonized gray is also uh, available. Cyber orange has been discontinued. That color is not available this year. Hot pepper red is available this year. It is a tri is a tinted clear coat, so it is an extra cost color. Um, this next one here is uh, iconic silver that is available this year. Atlas blue is also available. Now, this other one is Avalanche. That was exclusive to Tremor uh, in 23. It is not available this year. It's been discontinued. was available for just one year. Two new colors for this year. We do have Azure Gray or Azure Gray. It's a tri-coat. It is available. It will cost you a little extra for that color. And Terrain. I forgot about mentioning that one in the uh, XLT video. Terrain is also available on the Lariat Tram. Should not cost you extra for that color. So there are color options. Interior colors um, are going to be... Uh, this color here. So you're going to have that. They're calling it the desert brown. So that is your interior color option right here for you. We do have options for black on certain packages. We'll get to that when we get to those packages. So those are all of our color options for 2024. All right. So now let's dive into the optional features here. Now, first, of course, mentioning, don't forget, hybrid is optional this year. And it comes with the a different transmission is the uh, automatic continu continuously variable transmission. I'm trying to word that exactly how it is on the order guide. The eCVT transmission. So that is available. Uh, that's optional equipment as well as the advanced four-wheel drive uh, for that tremor. That is also optional for you for this year. Um, on the EcoBoost motor, the only power, uh, drivetrain available is the all-wheel drive. That's going to be standard on the EcoBoost for this year. So now let's get into some different packages. We talked about the ones included in the Lariat trim. So we've got those all checkmarked already. So let's talk about some of the other packages that are also available for this year uh, for your EcoBoost motors. Let's talk about that first. And first one to talk about is the 4K tow package. So this package here um, is available on the EcoBoost all-wheel drive. Uh, of course, all-wheel drive is standard. Uh, you're going to get upgraded with an 18-inch uh, tire. It's going to go along with it. It's a 225-60R18 all-season tire uh, for the Lariat trim. You're going to get the trailer brake controller. This allows you, if you have a trailer that has a brake on it, to be able to control the brake of the trailer. Could help you, uh, especially if you're coming down a hill, to use that integrated in with your brakes to save your brakes a little bit. You're going to get your trailer hitch receiver with a seven pin connector is going to be standard equipment on this. Only way to get the seven pin connector is with the 4K tow package. Uh, transmission oil cooler, higher capacity radiator, the upgraded cooling fans all help that vehicle to function a little bit better. So they can go from 2000 to 4000 pounds of towing capability there with the all wheel drive. You also get the upgraded drive ratio as well with this. So there you go. Not available with your hybrid motor. 
or with front wheel drive. Of course, that would be more available for the XLT trim, but uh, it is to note down there as well. So 4K tow package available that way. Now, also with that 4K tow package, we have the FX4 off-road package. So let's talk about that for your EcoBoost all-wheel drive versions. If you want to go with the FX4 off-road package, let's go ahead, go ahead and go through some of these features and what's included. And there are some changes for this year. So let's talk about some of these. All right. So let's go ahead and add this. And we'll go through them. I'll go through this list um, with my notes here, make sure we cover everything. But I like to be able to show you what it looks like and how it looks different. First off here, we do have the upgraded 17-inch. So instead of an 18, you're going to be a 17-inch wheel. It has a unique aluminum wheel. It's a black painted wheel. Looks great. It'll come with all-terrain tires as well. Uh, upgrade for this. You'll also see on the front, exposed tow hooks is also included on the FX4 off-road package. Also, you're going to get upgraded FX4, uh, of course, decals on the side. So let's go to this image here. You can see that decal right there. One thing you'll see is showing the all-wheel drive badging on the back. That'll actually be removed if you go with the FX4 off-road package. So just a little cosmetic thing, but something that they've changed for this year. Also, we have hill descent control on this, so it'll help you coming down those hills. Also, off-road uh, screen in the instrument cluster with those apps for the uh, different off-road capabilities and uh, different things. You'll have different drive modes for this. You'll have a mud rut mode with this and a sand mode as well when you go to this uh, here. Skid plates underneath to help protect it as well. Uh, this does get the upgraded. I'm actually gonna, not going to mention those in this because I'll tell you why in just a second. Also, performance suspension as well. Upgrades the suspension to this vehicle too, allowing you to be doing some off-roading with this. And also with this, with this package, will require you to have the 4K tow package. That would give you the upgraded uh, cooling fan as well and the higher capacity radiator, which were part of that package last year. Since you have to have the 4K tow package, it upgrades that gives you the hitch with the the seven pin wiring as well so that is a requirement this year so want to take note of that if you add the fx4 off-road package and your dealer says and it has the 4k tow package they have you have to have both of those to have the fx4 off-road package also this package is not available with the black appearance package so we're going to uncheck this because on the xlt video it showed that it looked like you could but you cannot black appearance package is the next package we'll talk about so this package here is a nice upgrade. Um, let's actually, yeah, okay, so we have that. Now, for the black appearance package, Lariat trim comes with a luxury package, but on the XLT required the luxury package to get the black appearance package. So let's go ahead and check that so we can see what it looks like. Let's get this wrong. So black appearance package, upgraded that. Didn't change the grill, though. All right, let's talk about the black appearance package for a second. Uh, this package here is going to give you the 18-inch unique machine face ebony wheels. Like these wheels, they're kind of a uh, a matte finish to those wheels, but it does give it a nice upgrade. Also, the Ford emblems are going to be blacked out. Front and rear will get the black emblems. Uh, well, also, you're already getting the black mirror caps as part of uh, the, um, the, Lux the Lariat trim for this year. Your grill will also be upgraded, so it is not showing it here. Not sure why. Uh, the grill will be a black bar grill on this. Also, black bezels to the headlights and your tail lights as well. So you're going to get that as well included in this. Um, and also, you'll have the all-wheel drive badging if you go all-wheel drive with this package. The rear emblem will be also blacked out, and your tail light uh, treatments will be blacked out as well. So um, now it is not mentioning door handles. This year they removed the door handles you're seeing black door handles. So we are not sure if it will have the black door handles or not. There's no definite answer to that. They have removed the name handles from this package. Last year, you got black door handles. XLT trim already had black, but on the Lariat trim also gave us black handles. So we don't know if that's been eliminated for this year or not. On the inside, you're going to get black ActiveX seats in here. So black interior, you'll still get, you'll still see that blue coming down in here, the Navy pier on this, but you'll get the black seats and the black trim on the, the front and the inside the doors. So it'll be nice upgrade there. So interior uh, treatments and such. All right. This package is not available with the FX4 off-road package or with a tremor package. So we're going to uncheck that and we're going to move to the trimmer appearance, the trimmer package. So trimmer off-road package this year. There is, by the way, there is not a trimmer appearance package. The trimmer appearance package included a couple things. 
Uh, and so it is not going to be included this year. Um, so let's go to this trimmer package. We're going to add the trimmer off-road package in here. And we're going to go to the exterior. We'll get to the interior in just a second. There you go. Exterior here for the trimmer appearance package. Uh, they didn't upgrade the grill at all. So for this is 23. This is you've had this for like nine months now, and you still haven't. Still is not right. So your grill is not correct on this trimmer off-road package uh, for some reason. What if we go to the appearance? Will it correct it? There, it did correct it. So we're going to do that um, now. Uh, trimmer appearance package again is not available this year uh, that gave you the the gray roof and also the gray mirror caps so you will not see that be a change you'll still have the black mirror cap and your body colored roof up there so that is not going to be different you do get this year as, a, as an upgrade you do get the decals on the door and the the top which is part of the appearance package you're going to get that included this year there's a way to delete those we'll talk about that and we get to optional equipment you'll see the grill has been upgraded so it'll have a nice uh, I believe that's a carbonized grill with the orange accents in there, blacked out Ford emblems as well. You'll see the tow hooks are going to be orange as well. Different front bumper. So it's going to help increase, uh, help give you extra um, clearance there uh, for going off road. Also gives you upgraded tire or wheel here. So you're going to see a, a nice, they call it a, a dark tarnished wheel. Uh, you're going to get that as an upgrade here, uh, 17 inch in size there. All terrain tire that comes with it. It is a uh, 235 65R17 on those. Uh, so you'll get those as well in all terrain tires. You're going to get the the badging over here that's going to say trimmer on it, trimmer badging on the tailgate or on the back bedside as well back here. Uh, and then in the back, it's going to be the Ford emblem it will be darkened out as well. So that's kind of the, the exterior accents you're going to get for this. Uh, kind of did this ahead of time. Um, and then also some of the bigger reasons you get the trimmer appearance packages, you get an upgraded off-road tune suspension here. So unique front and rear springs that come with this, they incre increase the ride height. Also front and unique front and rear shocks, including the trimmer logo on the rear shocks. So you're getting this. This is going to get the, the advanced all-wheel drive system that you get from the Bronco Sport Badlands Edition. <clears throat> That's going to give you the trail control with this which means it's like cruise control for the trail. So you can just set that cruise to anywhere from one to 19 miles an hour. And that way you can just worry about the steering instead of worrying about the shifting or the, the gas and the brake and such. So it takes care of that front skid plates uh, for underbody protection as well to help, help protect it under there. advanced four wheel drive system with the twin clutch. As I mentioned, same one as the Bronco sport badlands <clears throat> four wheel lock as well. And you get the rear locking differential as well as included with this too. And again, some selectable drive modes like the mud rut, sand, and such. Some of the same drive modes that you see with the FX4 off-road package. Uh, on the off-road screen as well in the clusters, since you have the off-road capabilities, it gives you the pitch and roll on your vehicle and that kind of thing. Also get upgraded with the heavy-duty transmission uh, cooler there to keep that transmission cooled off um, and, uh, and, and such like that. Now let's look at the interior accents. Um, we do get the black interior orange uh, uh, stitching on this, trimmer on the back rest. So similar to what you see on the black appearance package, which you can see why we don't need the black appearance package with this, because uh, you're going to have the same interior look as a black appearance package, but with the trimmer and the orange stitching all around all over the vehicle. So pretty cool on how that looks here on the inside. So that is the trimmer package. Again, the appearance package is not available this year. You're going to get the decals from that package as standard equipment on the trimmer off-road package for this year. So, all right, that's all the uh, packages. We're going to uncheck all these, uh, some of these here. There we go. And then we're going to get into, now we're ready for the uh, optional equipment now. Um, so let's uh, make sure we cover all these. Now, with this, because uh, Ford does not differentiate on the, when it goes through these options, the different optional equipment from dealer installed options first factory installed options. So, I'll do the best I can bear with me to make sure we cover all those here. So now one is there is an optional wheel. If you, you know, of course you see there's um, six different wheel options here and, but some of those are dedicated to certain packages. So that's the standard wheels we can see right now. This is the tremor wheel. This is your FX4 off-road wheel. This is your black appearance package wheel. Uh, but we do have an optional wheel here and this one right here, I believe is our optional wheel. Uh, see if I select that correctly. Come on. All right. We actually have two optional wheels, so it's not selecting it right now. So we do have an 18-inch. I believe it might have picked it there. We have an 18-inch 
black painted wheel that is uh, that is available. Now, that's not available on the FX4 off-road trimmer or black appearance packages. They get their own dedicated wheel, uh, but it is available if you want to uh, keep with the 18-inch size. You can go that route. Now, if you want to downgrade, uh, you can get an optional wheel uh, if you have on the – there it goes. So that's the one that's that requires a tow package. So this is the 17-inch wheel. Uh, with a more aggressive off-road tire that requires the 4K tow package. Also requires, uh, of course, this a wheel and tire combination, and it re would replace your 18-inch wheel. So that is an, available on the 4K tow package. So if you want to go with this wheel option, more aggressive all-terrain tire, you can do that. Also, we have this other optional. That's the one I just talked about, the 18-inch black painted wheel. Kind of see what that looks like. There you go. That is also an option for you um, that's not available with any of your appearance packages. So we have those di two different wheel options there for you. Now, moving down, uh, talk about splash guards for a second. So splash guards is a factory installed option. Uh, we'll hold up your build. Only about 5% of the orders are selected with this option. So we encourage you to take, leave that off. We've seen a lot of builds get passed up because I had this option on there. Bed divider kit is also something that Ford has told us is at a very low capacity. So this one is available for this uh, for the Larry trim. You can see it. You already get the bed rails, so you can get the bed divider if you want. You can also get that through Ford Accessories. Your dealer should be able to get that for you. Um, but that is a dealer in, is a dealer installed option. Yes, that's a dealer installed option. So if it does, if you do order it, the dealer would put that in your vehicle for you. They will not be shipped with your vehicle. You have these two toolboxes. Uh, we have a driver's side and a passenger side. You can see what those look like. Um, those are dealer installed option. I would leave those off of your order if I were you. Um, those can hold up your builds. Um, so leave those off. Also, we do have three tonneau covers. Uh, we have a soft folding, a hard folding, tri-fold, and a roll-up cover. All three will hold up your builds. Uh, if you choose any, I think it's the soft folding that's uh, more readily available, but all three of those will hold up your builds. Um, they are put on at the factory, uh, but don't put them on your builds if you want to get yours anytime soon. So touch link bed light system here. This is a dealer installed option. Ship to the dealership. Dealership would install it. Um, again, the less of these you have on your order, the easier it is for your order to be selected. Let's just make it that simple. So as you add these on there, remember all those have to be in supply at the factory because they ship it to the dealership ahead of time, but they still have to be in supply at the factory or they won't schedule yours for a build. So if the suppliers have any issues getting them in, yours won't get selected for scheduling. So that's how that usually work. I hate to be blunt like that, but I've seen some orders get looked over um, and every the last two years because of certain of these items, leave them off, make it easier for yours to get scheduled. You can get you can add all these later. This truck is very modular in a sense that you can add so many of these bed accessories later and not hold up your build. So I encourage you to do that. Bed extender is another one of those. So bed extender is a factory option and will hold up your build. This is not available with your um, well, your drop-in liner, but you can't get the drop-in liner because spray and bed liner is standard on, on these. Also not available with your bed covers, uh, your hard roll-up or your soft folding. So um, bed mat. Let's see what's next. Uh, bed tray liner. So bed tray liner, um, I don't think this will be available because the bed tray liner is not available with the Lariat Luxury Package, and that's now standard. So that will not be probably included uh, in here. Um, in fact, I'm, nope, it's not on here. So um, that will be removed from the order guide or from the building price for this year. Spray bed liner is included in your Lariat trim. Hard bed liner will not be available. Uh, no way to get that added because uh, spray and liner is standard. Bed mat, um, is that showing on here? Bed mat is available. Um, it is reversible. Um, so it's kind of like a really nice rubberized material there. You can put that in there on top of your spray and bed liner if you want. Um, bed mat will hold up your build too. So along with protective film and hood for hood and fenders, 3% is a capacity. So take that off. Let the dealer install that for you. You can get this later. You can get it through Ford Accessories. Um, put it on yourself. Please leave that off your build. Again, unless you don't mind holding your build up. If, if you're a person that's like, hey, what can I add to mine to hold up my build? This will be it. Protective film. Uh, leave it off your build is, um, you know, yeah, just leave it off. Um, window air deflector is available as well. Um, that is the a dealer installed option. So it would be sent to the dealership. They'd install it. So why not just order it from the dealership instead? Um, bed 
uh, cargo bed net is available this year. So you can see it uses the tie downs. Um, shouldn't hold up your build, but uh, would be put in the vehicle from the factory uh, before it shipped out, I believe. Um, no, actually, that is a dealer installed option. So it'll be shipped to the dealership and they'll put it in. So again, anytime you see a dealer installed option where the factory sends it to the dealer, just, just talk to your dealer and get it from them instead uh, would be my encouragement on that. Now, this uh, bed tie down rails that's included this year, so that won't be listed as a uh, optional equipment this year. Theft prevention hinge lock is a dealer installed option um, that would be put on uh, by the dealer. And I would just get an order from the dealer. We had a customer recently that did that same thing. They ordered their vehicle without this, and then they talked to aftermarket after they ordered their vehicle. And uh, they had it when they came to pick up their vehicle, uh, they grabbed, uh, they got it from aftermarket and they gave it to them. They just paid them. So uh, easier to do it that way. Full size spare is included. Standard equipment on the Lariat trim this year. So no reason added as an option. Wheel locking kit is also a dealer installed option. So uh, they'll remove one of your lug nuts and put it on. This should not hold up your builds. Again, the more of these, the less of these you have, the easier it is to get one or two of these. And that's the way I'd look at it. So look at the most th important things to you. You can get this through Ford Accessories and uh, in your driveway, take one of the lug nuts off, put on the locking one on each of your wheels, and uh, it's not too difficult to do. Uh, engine block heater is a factory installed option. If you do want this or need this, definitely this is something will not hold up your build. Put it on your vehicle. Um, if you leave your vehicle outside in the, in the cold weather, this helps you keep that engine warm so you can start it up easier. All right. Um, these uh, hood deflectors, these are dealer installed options. Again, same premise as the others. Leave them off your build, but you do have a smoke one and you have a textured. You can get those through your aftermarket departments. Dealers can do this. They can put it on your vehicle. It's a 3M protectant. You take it off and you stick it on. You can do it yourself. The smoke one would be more of a, a slicker material. And whereas the textured is going to be the same material, kind of like your mirror caps or not your mirror caps, but your front bumper covers and such. Uh, so molded in kind of material. Yakima bed rails, that is an aftermarket. Uh, that is also a deal installed option. Uh, those are bed mounted crossbars. So they go across your bed. If you want to put like racks or like, let's say a tent on there, you would need that. So you can get that as well. Now, something that's not listed uh, that is new for this year, and that is the cross bed toolbox. Since you have the bed rails already, which it requires that, you can get a toolbox that uses the bed rails. So that's new for this year. We haven't seen any pictures of that. I wanted to make sure I made note of that. Also for exterior features, again, you can get a the Tremor decal delete for your vehicle. So that can be also uh, added to your order if you don't want the graphics on the side. So keep that in mind. All right, moving down to interior options. These three all are different kits. Uh, you have a commercial roadside assistance kit a roadside assistance kit, and a first aid kit. Again, all three things you can get through Ford Accessories. Those are all three dealer installed options that the dealership would basically take everything out of the box, put it in the bag for you. That's what they do. That's the install part of that. Uh, just get it later uh, through your own dealer there. The ash cup coin holder, as well as the smoker package, they, that would go in your cup holder if you want to put coins in it. If you get the smoker one, it'll come with a, a lighter as well. Um, those are dealer installed options. Um, again, you can get through those through Ford accessories and there really isn't an install. You just put it in the vehicle floor liners. Those are factory installed options. So they, if you put those in there, the factory will put them in your vehicle before they uh, send it out. Forgot to mention that on the third video now that you get, you get carpeted mats for the front seat, standard equipment. Uh, if you want to get the floor liners with those same carpeted mats, it's a 175. If you want to get the floor liners without the carpeted mats, you're 135. So there you go go those two routes and again those shouldn't hold up your build anytime you can it's something you can get from the that the factory does um is not too bad there's just a couple that on accessories that you wouldn't get power moonroof is available this year so there you go power moonroof you can add that uh available in about any of your packages um should be and no restrictions there it doesn't say there is um i will say that moonroof was something its capacity is less than 50 percent on the moonroofs so um, if you put that on there there could be a point where it may not schedule your vehicle because of that we did see somebody that got theirs um, looked over this last year um, because of that uh, there was an order just like theirs it was ordered after theirs that was selected instead of theirs the only difference was the moonroof uh, so there's that possibility Remote start, standard equipment now. Talked about that one. 
the outlet uh, is standard standard equipment. Uh, gets one in the back of the console, as we mentioned earlier. That's already standard equipment. Console Volt is a uh, aftermarket ad, or I'd say not an aftermarket ad, but the dealer installed option. So that would be shipped to the dealership. They would install it for you. Um, I heard they're pretty easy to install, but I could see if there's something that takes an install, then I could see how you may want to order it on your vehicle. But again, if you lower the number and keep those numbers low on those, then you shouldn't have any issues with getting a one or two of these items, right? So other than the tonneau cover, don't do it. Um, now, only thing left that is not covered, that's not showing on this, that's a, showing on the order guide, and that is a cargo management system mounted bed crossbars, similar to the Yakima one, uh, but it's Ford's version of this. Uh, so they say it's not available with the Yakima ones. So that is an option for you if you want to get that. Um, again, I'd get it later through Ford uh, accessories and such, then putting it on your build. So there you go. So, all right, we have covered all the optional equipment for this year. Um, not a lot of things that were different and new for this year from last year on the when it comes to the uh, factory installed options. But there you have it. There's our complete guide. All the standard equipment, the different packages uh, available, your options, including dealer installed options, and my advice on which options you should and should not add to your order if you want to get it quickly. Do what you want on your order. Um, I'm just telling you advice on if you want to get your order quickly. Some things to think about. So. Speaking of that, uh, hopefully you guys liked the video. Smash that like button if you did. Also, I mentioned I would talk about ordering tips from your local dealers. So, again, we're not able to take orders this year for 24 model year. Uh, so find a good local dealership and make sure you ask a few questions. So here are some of the tips when you go in there to make sure you get a good deal from your dealer and you, you have a transparent dealer. One is ask them about that price. So they, when they fill out the order sheet and say, now, um, when I order the vehicle, there'll be an MSRP price on that order sheet. What are you going to sell the vehicle to me based on that MSRP? Are you going to be below, above, how much above? Where are you going to be at on price? Also, what dealer fees do you add to the price once it comes in when I do paperwork? What is your dealer fee cost? And then also ask them if they add anything else to that. So, and I say that because there are some dealers that are telling customers that they require a protective film um, coating on the vehicle and that's they put that on every vehicle and it's required um, I don't think they can do that legally depending on your state I guess um, but ask them about that ask them if they add anything else to the vehicle and will be required if they say they do see if they'll negotiate that out and say I don't want that on my vehicle um, you know is that going to be a problem when I come in get that stuff in writing on the pricing dealer fees any add-on fees and such like that also you might want to ask them Hey, what happens to my vehicle if when I order it, it's this price, and when it comes in, Ford a, does a price increase, and the MSRP is more? What are you going to charge me? And then ask them, because there is something called price protection. Price protection means that Ford will protect your price from when you ordered it. So what basically means that what the price was when you ordered is the price that Ford will honor. And how they honor that price is if there's a price increase, they will reimburse the dealer back that difference when they see that the person that ordered the vehicle is the person that took delivery of the vehicle. It does have to match up. Once Ford sees that, they reimburse the dealership the difference of that price increase. So make sure the dealership knows how price protection works and such like that. Also, if you have a 23 to 24 carryover order, make sure you talk to them about the private offer. Because private offer will also, anybody that had a 23 order carried over to 24, um, will get a price private offer to, to take care of any price increases that happen between 23 and 24 model year. In some situations, you may have a price protection with a private offer, both. So make sure you know about that. Also, incentive lock. Uh, Maverick probably will not have any special rates or rebates when you order the vehicle. But in case there are, there is something called incentive lock where they will lock those incentives. So basically what the incentives were when you order the vehicle is what you're going to get when you when that vehicle comes in. Or you can take the sale date um, incentives if you'd rather and have those. So that's called incentive lock. So all three of those are something that Ford honors and tells dealerships to honor as well. So you might want to ask them if they know about those three. Incentive lock, price protection, and the private offer if you have a 23 to 24 model year. So all right. So you've covered everything. If you have any questions on that, drop them down in the in the comments. We'll answer those for you. And I uh, do appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this video, you probably like a lot of other videos. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified next time another video uploaded to the channel. And if you do put an order in, 
check back with our channel every week, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central. We actually go over uh, scheduling for each week of whether or not the Maverick is scheduling each of those weeks, and we go over that for you. So this way we can you can know whether or not we uh, can uh, what's going to happen, whether or not your order even has a chance to order that week or not, and we go over any changes to constraints and such from what I've told you. So also be looking for those too. So those are something else that's very important that you want to make sure you ask uh, that you, you might want to know. So check out our live stream every week. We can uh, answer those for you right here on our live stream. So thank you very much for watching this until the next video. Don't forget, stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you in the next video.